Hi again, here we are to talk about Xcode and continue with this to-do app. And uh, what I'd like to do now is I'd like to talk about the um, completed property and displaying the completed property as, you know, a, a check mark or something in the, in the view. So, you know, when I look at the storyboard here and we look at the table view cell, which is this guy, and we go into the properties, you'll see that, that the table view cell has a, a property called accessory. And there's a couple choices here. You can choose detail, you can choose uh, check mark, right? And, uh, you know, you can choose disclosure indicator. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose check mark, right? But I'm actually going to leave it to none right now because that's a choice too. So you can have none, right? And what I'd like to do is I'd like to show the check mark when a to do item is completed and then, you know, remove the check mark when it's not completed, okay? So let's go into um, our to do, our view controller, right? And when we display cells in our table view, that happens here in cell for row at index path. So we've got a to do right here, which should have a name and a completed property. And what I'd like to do is check the, the completed property and say like, hey, you know, if to do dot completed, right? So if that's true, then, you know, we'll show the check mark. right else you know um, hide check mark okay um, so how do we show the check mark well what we'll do is we'll get the cell we'll say cell dot accessory type okay and we'll set that equal to one of the accessory types that that is provided right so what that is is it's a UI table view accessory wait UI table view cell accessory type there we go right so it's um, UI table view cell accessory type and then you put the dot here and you can say check mark or detail button or none right so I'll say check mark because we want to show the check mark here and then down here I'll say cell dot accessory type equals uh, UI table view cell accessory type none okay now again th this is an enum so you know technically we could just put the value like this right we can just say dot and the name okay so if you want to shorten it to this it, it makes it a little easier to read right so we can do that let's uh, let's give it a quick test right now right now we're not going to see any um, any check marks because you know when the to-do items are created by default, their um, their completed property is false, right? So none of these have been completed, right? So um, you know if we if we make one of our to-do items like down here, actually let's go to the to-do manager, right? And in the to-do manager, in the init method, we create four new to-dos, right? And these to-dos are, are not completed. Why don't we add a fifth one, right? This time I'm going to put it here. I'm going to say T equals to-do. And the name will be um, sleep, right? And we've completed that. So we'll say T dot completed equals true, right? And then we'll say to-dos dot append item t right so we'll just add that to do item to the um to the table view right i don't know what this guy would oh he says like yeah that should be a let instead of a var because we didn't change the value right so we'll just get rid of that warning there and then uh, we'll test here Oh, there we go. So sleep has been completed, so it's got a check mark, right? So what we'd like to really do here is is tap on one of these things and then show the check mark or tap it again to remove a check mark, okay? So let's let's take care of that. So that's going to have to happen in the the view controller here in our 
table view delegate methods, right? So the delegate methods are the ones that are going to handle, you know, touch events and things on a table view cell. And what they're going to have to do is it's going to have to go into um, the to-do manager here, get the to-do that, um, that, that it represents the current row, and then change its completed property. Okay, so it'll have to work with to-do manager to get it to do, change the completed property, and then update the cell in the view controller. Okay, so let's do that here. So, so far, you know, I've got my table view data source methods, but I haven't used any of the delegate methods. So let's make a mark here. Let's say mark colon, you know, um, table view delegate methods, right? And then the method that I want, whenever you tap on a table view cell, the one that I want here is this one down here. It's called did select row at index path. Now, there's a mistake that, that everybody makes at some point, and it's this totally mysterious thing, and you wonder, you, you look work on this for hours trying to figure out what the problem is, and everybody does this at some point, is they choose did deselect row at index path. Okay, because they look almost the same. This is did deselect. The one that we want is did select. So did deselect is when you tap and something is selected and then you, you deselect it by selecting another cell. Okay, right? It's really confusing. Like you tap on the cell and then it's selected so nothing happens. And then when you click on another cell or tap on another cell, then the first cell gets deselected and then this method gets called. Right, so you can imagine, just imagine in your head like what would happen. You tap on the first cell, nothing happens. You tap on a second cell, and then the first cell does something, and you're wondering why it's doing something, right? It can be very confusing, so don't choose that one. Make sure you choose this one. Did select row at index path, okay? So when we select a row at index path, what do we want to do? Well, um, we want to get the, the, the to-do item for that cell. Okay, so it provides, this method provides the index path for the current cell or the select the cell that you tapped on, right? So what we'll do, or selected, right? So what we'll do is we'll say uh, let to do equal to do manager dot shared instance dot to do at index. And then the index that we want is index path dot row. Okay, so now we've got our to do. And what we'll do is we'll say um, to do dot completed equals not to do dot completed. Okay, so you know a boolean. Um, if you put the exclamation point in front of it, it flips it and makes it the opposite of what it is. So you know if this was a a false value, putting the exclamation point makes it a true value, and so we'd be setting this to true. And if this was true, putting the exclamation point in front makes it false. So now we would be setting this to false, right? And then after this, you know, we can do the same code that we did here, right? And you could just copy and paste that, right? And um, and that would be okay. Um, this cell, though, we, we need to get the cell that we selected, right? Um, so, and that, that's okay. It's a little awkward though because, you know, essentially we're duplicating code that we have. Like, why do I want to do this selection process of the check mark, like in two places, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new method, right? Just some, like a little helper method just to kind of handle just these, um, just this situation where we, we, we set the check mark on a cell. So, what I'm going to do is, is this I'm going to make a new function and I'm going to call it, um, you know, uh, set check mark for cell. How about that? Let's make the F uppercase there. Set check mark for cell. Okay. And then this will be our cell, and it'll be a UI table view cell. Okay. And it doesn't need to return anything. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, you know, um, oh, you know what we should do? Um, set check mark for cell, and then we should put a comma here, and let's do, um, 
let's pass the completed property in, right? And that'll be a Boolean, okay? And then what we can do is we can say, you know, hey, if completed, then cell dot accessory type equals dot check mark else cell dot accessory type equals none okay so how are we going to work with this method well what we're going to do is up here i'm going to delete the code that we had earlier right and what we're going to do is we're going to say set check mark for cell and then we'll pass in the table view cell that we've got right here right so we'll just pass that on to this method so it knows who to work with and then for the boolean here we'll say to do dot completed okay and now we'll write the code down here to work with this method also so first of all down here we need to get the cell and whenever you um, whenever you you know select a cell, you know it tells you the index path that you selected, but it doesn't actually give you the cell itself, right? It just tells you this is the index, right? This is the location of the cell. So what we'll do is we'll say let, and then table view provides a method to give you a cell at a particular index path. So what we'll do is we'll do um, let cell equal table view dot um, cell for row at index path and then this requires an index path so we'll just type in index path there right so this method returns the cell at this index path so now we've got our cell now we can call on set check mark for cell and the cell that we want to set is this cell right and then the completed property is going to be to do dot completed okay and there we go, right? And this guy has an error here. You know why it says um, add at the exclamation point? Because um, because this cell for row at index path returns an optional. You know, if you give it an index path that's bogus and it doesn't point to a, a cell that exists in the table view, it might ha it might not be able to return anything. So why don't we actually just use the the exclamation point here to unwrap that? Because you know, if you selected a cell at index path, then we're pretty sure that that cell is in there, right? You know, if it didn't exist, then you couldn't have selected it, right? So I think we're safe to unwrap that one here, right? So let's give it a test, right? So we'll we'll hit play. And here we are. And then, you know, I didn't sleep well last night, so I'm going to check on that one. And there, I'll check on these guys, right? And then I'll add a new to-do. I'll say new to-do. And then I'll click save. And maybe I completed that to-do, so I'll click on it, right? So there you go. So there's our check mark with the cell accessory, right? And uh, thanks for watching.